motherfuckers. So in this video, we're going to be converting our headlight assembly for the passenger side into a cold air intake um, with a velocity stack on it. So this was donated to me from a friend. It was already cracked anyway, so but pretty much going to take all this glass off, um, take all the internals out apart in the back and probably drill out like a three inch hole here to put an intake in there make it come out pretty much out of the actual passenger side here so I can actually get just cold air intake itself pretty much show you little by little process of how I'll be doing it, and then I'll be painting the inside of the housing there so I'll probably be removing these pieces here all the edges of the headlight assembly and just start prying it out and then work it from there so after you remove the actual retainers holding it in place I just put it all in a box here so it doesn't create all the shrapnel and broken glass on the floor so you just pretty much work it around and take pieces off like this is already broken but it's pretty much sealed inside of there so I've been just prying onto the edge here As you can see just kind of work it just make sure you wear protective eye glasses so you don't get glass shards in your eyes. So just carefully take it out. There it is. Just gotta take this piece off and it should be pretty much all cleared to go. So there it is, all taken apart. Just gotta take the headlights out. Take some of the stuff internally out. Here's a broken glass in a box. Just gonna kind of disassemble everything and uh, try to paint the housing black and inside the deflect the reflector area black as well. So here we go. Here's the stock headlight. I had to remove the bumper partially, the upper portion of it, and then the actual bumper support beam, crash beam. To be able to sneak it out since it's, it's pretty tucked in there. So here's the intake. It's the three inch intake I'll be running. Just kind of angle it, figure out which angle I'm going to use. Then I'm going to get another pipe, come straight out here with the housing. And here's the housing already. So this will obviously go in here. Like that. So I said I'm going to paint the inner part of that reflector section black. And then I'm going to drill out of either a uh, hole on this side or on this side but I'm most likely going to do on this side since it's less distance from this side so so it should be better I mean the back side I mean it should be cleared for three inches on this side so okay so we're right here con Milancito getting ready to mock up the intake the velocity stack three inch velocity stack the intake's gonna go in here ¿Dónde? ¿Where is the air going to go, Emiliano? ¿Dónde se va a meter el aire? ¿Por dónde? Ahí puede estar un tubo. Ajá. ¿Y del aire, aire. ¿El aire dónde va? ¿Para dentro del motor? Sí, para dentro de ellos hay un tubo. ¿Y luego cómo le hace el motor? Como así, así cae. Ajá. ¿Cómo le hace el ruido del motor? ¿Cómo le hace? Como de más cae, hace muy guapito. <ríe> ¿Y aquí qué, qué entra aquí? Es una... Mm -hmm. Good job. Wow. As you can see, there's the hole for the headlights, high beam and low beam. So I'm going to pretty much use a 3 inch hole saw here to try to get it as even as possible there. Drill right through it and then figure out what piping I'm going to need to route so I could be as straight as possible so I can come out here and then I can install the actual velocity pack on the front side here. Obviously, depending on how much uh, it's going to interfere with the bumper, well, we'll figure that out more as we go, since this thing does have to sit up higher anyway. So, But right now, I'm just going to mock it up, try to figure out the best way to drill it in the middle. So. There 
is three inch hole drilled out a little bit over three inches maybe three inches and a quarter the back side as well kind of cut up and so the actual intake pipe goes in there freely it's gonna clean up the burrs here and then we're gonna spray paint the whole headlight assembly here uh like a black just the black color so to be kind of simple basic so that'll be it for now and then i'm gonna bolt it up to the car um, put in the intake piping and make adjustments from there. So there's the headlight spray painted with uh, just plastic dip. So if in case whatever I ever want to use this housing, you can just peel it off. Put like probably maybe six coats of it, so it's probably half the can so far. So maybe I'll spray a little bit more. But it's not perfect, not pretty, but just kind of blackened out. So not too bad, not too shabby. And I'll put it in the car and check it out. And then that's what I'm gonna put the intake through here. Make sure everything's cool. Here it is. So there's a three inch intake with a 45 degree I had bought in uh, aluminum pipe that I painted with a wrinkle paint by VHT. And then uh, with a coupler and the velocity stack. There it is with the hood closed. Not too bad, clears, everything clears around here, so didn't want to get too close because obviously it's gonna hit the hood. And here it's pretty close, but it's all good. It works. Pretty much a simple setup for that. And the next video I want to do is uh, focus on intake air temperatures. So I want to compare that three inch intake with a velocity stack against the uh, short ram intake with a filter and then a uh, cold air intake with a filter. So I'm gonna see what the intake air temperature differences are between all those three setups. So I'm gonna try to take all these temperatures around 11 p.m. at night where the temperatures are consistent around 50, 55 degrees around that time right now. So I'll do that and then um, I'll show you guys how different it is for the intake temperatures. And um, yeah, man, so that's it getting ready for this uh, event for October 18. So as always, um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can stay updated.